Hello you guys, so today we're gonna do an all key lost situation for a 2013 uh, E-Class using uh, the Altel. We're gonna be using the XP400 with uh, the emulator connected to the XP400, uh, to the Altel. Um, and we're gonna be adding an aftermarket key. We're gonna be using the two batteries one. So it's a 2012 E-Class. We're gonna start by just logging into the car. The car has an active alarm. Uh, so it's an Oculus loss situation. Um, so anyway, we're not gonna know how we need to connect. I always recommend just connect to the car through the OBD. And we're gonna go to Mercedes. After we're gonna do that, um, we're going to be uh, going and doing it by smart selection. It's always going to be the easiest for you guys because it's going to tell us exactly what it is and we're going to go for all key lost fast and we're going to be using a G box just to make it faster. But sometimes on models, uh, it's going to be uh, no fast option. You're just going to be able to do the slow option. So as you can see, and this one is a W212, uh, and it's a model year 13. So all key lost is currently unsupported in this uh, version. So the way we're going to do that, we're just going to go to the all key lost in a regular version on vehicle. So we're just going to hit begin. And now it asks us to put the blank key. So just for your recommendation, uh, I know some of the keys are bad. I uh, using the double battery ones appearance to be working way better. So it's asked us to put it in the IR. IR radio is better simply this. You're going to see uh, infrared inside. And we're just going to hit OK. It's reading the key, it's making sure the key is uh, blank. So ask us if we have a password, so we don't, it's an all key lost. We're going to press OK to enter the calculation. Uh, now it's going to ask us to um, connect the OBD and everything, which we already did. So basically the OBD is here. USB to the XP400. XP400 has this cable, which is APB125. That's the emulator. I'm just going to place it in the ignition and we're going to hit begin. told us to do everything we did already so now it's connecting to obtain data keep in mind that Mercedes says is really about luck uh, when we're talking so now it wants us to put in and out the emulator uh, so after we did that we went into calculation now uh, sometimes it can take it could be a nightmare it can take like really really long time it really depends on your luck uh, server internet connection uh, but anyways, um, I have experienced that it took from two seconds or like maybe two minutes all the way to sometimes even like two hours, uh, rarely. But normally it will be between the 20 minutes or so. I will get back to you guys uh, when I get it, the password and I will show you how we proceed. So I would say about uh, 20 minutes into the calculation, uh, we have got the password. So after you get a password, uh, you just want to take a photo of that just to keep it uh, for future reference and then we're going to just hit OK. So the passport uh, calculation is completed. We're just going to press OK to keep going 
um, is going to generate the key file. So generating a key file basically means that it takes the EIS uh, data and the code, and it's basically writing a new key slot for this key. And now we're going to write the key uh, file into the key itself. So we're basically going to put the key into the IR. We're going to press the OK. It's detecting the key. And this is the moment that it's basically writing the key. So it's writing a key file. And after it's going to do that, we are basically done. Um, so as you can see in this chassis and the W2000, uh, 212, the job uh, is not being done with taking the ELV or anything. You just OBD and you go on the OBD slow and we're just going to take the key now. We're going to put it in the ignition and we're going to turn it. And as you can see, some power to the car and we're gonna make sure so after hooking a battery charger um, the car started right away uh, this is how you do the job is done